So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mal's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now this video is going to be a selection of highlight clips from the past few days and we're starting off here with a level 3 Capicaly that completely took me by surprise there as it ran out in front of me. Completely missed that first shot as I was expecting it to go a little bit more forward than it did but managed to get it there with the second shot before it actually took off and started flying away. Really wasn't expecting that to just run out in front of me. I always love finding the diamond capicaly and i feel like i've started off a few videos now with just a random level three that has shown up still hoping to find a rare pale male hopefully for the collection and also a leucistic female to complete the leucistic multi mount but always happy to find a level three maybe one day i'd love to if possible get a super rare for these so maybe at some point that'll be something i do a grind for but this was still a very cool find only a small one at 4.66 but still a diamond nonetheless and just cool to have it run out in front of me like that now moving on to the next clip and this was quite a cool scene to actually stumble across i could see some whitetail out here on this little lake that is normally unchecked on most people's maps and i could see that there was one that looked a lot darker than the rest and it almost just looked like a shadow the way it was stood there with that particular lighting can't see like any detail of the face or anything so it just literally looked like a shadow so i thought that was pretty cool but we are looking at a melanistic whitetail doe now fun Funnily enough, the last melanistic whitetail doe I found was at this exact same spot on another multiplayer map. It's funny, this spot gets pretty much unchecked by most people from what I've seen. It's almost always unchecked on the multiplayer servers I go into, which is why I come here to check it. And this was a really nice find from this location once again. And I actually noticed this time, which is something I didn't notice before, that the melanistics actually do have sort of like white flecks, like small white hairs in in their coat as well which i think actually looks quite cool because you probably would see something like that if the animal's a little bit older so i thought that was a pretty cool thing to actually see and obviously cool to find a melanistic whitetail they are very rare to actually find would have been nice if it was a buck but like i said they're very rare to find anyway so really nice to actually get to harvest this now not going to tax it for the trophy lodge as there are no multi mounts or anything that use female whitetail at the moment if there is ever is a multi mount that uses some females a melanistic female i think would be a pretty cool one to have just because like i said they are quite rare but i've got so many rare whitetail from my various whitetail great one grinds that i don't really need another one in my trophy lodge at the moment now, sticking with the theme of whitetail in multiplayer, and I came across this very interesting specimen. A level 2 buck with a huge estimate, minimum of 250, all the way up to 291. Now, I was pretty confident that this guy was going to be a level 2 diamond with an estimate like that. Obviously, he's still not guaranteed with that estimate, but he's got a very, very good chance at actually making it. And the rack looked right to me. So I took a shot there with the 243. Once again, I love the 243 handgun. Did a perfect job on that melanistic doe and did a perfect job once again on this buck here. And he's a very nice looking buck, nice looking rack. I'm not the most fond of the small rack for whitetail. I think it looks a little bit too spindly. But this one actually was a little bit interesting. Got quite lucky with that shot, only just clipping that lung. But this rack is quite interesting. It's almost more like a high rack. It's very upright and very high, especially like the actual tips are very high up. Very interesting looking buck and actually a very decent score at 259.67. For a level 2, this is a really big buck. Now, once again, I'm not going to end up taxing this guy as I do have many Diamond Whitetail taxed in the Trophy Lodge already and I don't really have space for anything that isn't really super unique or maybe like really big or a super rare or something like that. But just an interesting looking buck, especially with those really, really high tips, like I said. Very interesting looking and one that I was certainly very happy to come across whilst in multiplayer now i might end up with more diamond whitetail at some point as i do still want to do another one or two whitetail great one grinds just to see if i can get the racks that i'm missing and yeah maybe i'll end up with more diamonds and maybe eventually hopefully a super rare still without any super rares of any kind so i really would like to get one and hopefully one day one of these great one grinds one might show up obviously we've got the moose great one grind coming up soon so maybe i'll get lucky enough to get one there.
But this clip was actually from my single player. And as you can see, we have a dark female golden eye. Now, this is actually a rare, and I didn't actually even see her before I took that shot. But this is a rare plumage type for the golden eye. So, gonna tax that and send that to the trophy lodge, as this is actually bigger than the one I had in the trophy lodge already. So, that was pretty cool. I really do like the way that the dark female golden eye look with that sort of little orange tip on their beak. Really beautiful looking bird. The contrast of the orange with the really dark feathers on the head I think looks really nice and that is the way to identify them if you're looking at a group of golden eye and you see a female that looks a bit darker than the rest if it has the orange tip to its beak then it is a dark and it is actually a rare so very cool bird to actually find one of the more not noticed rares I think because they are a little bit harder to spot but one that I'm certainly happy to add to the trophy lodge now, sticking with the theme of waterfowl, and I was actually here in multiplayer when I spotted a Eurasian teal female that looked a little bit different to the rest. Now, I was pretty confident at this point that it was a leucistic female Eurasian teal. I have had one before, and it looked pretty much the same as the one that I already had in the trophy lodge. I actually ended up hitting a few birds there, so I just pick up one of them there as well. But that is most definitely a leucistic female Eurasian teal. Now, like I said, this is the second leucistic Eurasian teal female I've had. I really, really want to find a leucistic male. They look absolutely stunning. But the females are gorgeous as well. This sort of like light yellowish colour with the blue feathers in the wings. They are really pretty looking. And I think that that's something that's very cool about the new species for waterfowl. And actually the reworked mallards as well. Is that the female rares look just as pretty as some of the male rares. I actually really liked sort of the delicate look that some of the females have with their rares. And the Eurasian teal females are one that I think is just really pretty to actually look at. Especially when you put them in the trophy lodge and you can have the wings spread out so you can see the blue feathers i think that they are really pretty and i absolutely love them so very happy to have another one of those for the trophy lodge now sticking with the theme of multiplayer waterfowl hunting and you'll see i was just spotting around here just spotting these ducks that had just come in and there's actually a level three golden eye now this is actually only the second level three golden eye i've ever seen so i got very excited to actually see that level three pop up the golden eye might be one of my favorite species of the waterfowl in fact i do like all the waterfowl but the golden eye are just so pretty with that that black and white contrasting plumage and then that green head and of course the golden eyes they are stunning and this guy actually is a diamond at 1265.75 really awesome to actually get another diamond golden eye the diamonds now for the waterfowl species are a lot harder to come across i'd say even for mallards i actually haven't seen a diamond mallard since revon Tuli released so i'm actually really keen to find an a diamond mallard you know to sh actually shoot one with the new models and that is something i've been doing in my single player is actually shooting some mallards hoping that maybe i can get even maybe a piebald diamond i've seen a lot of piebald diamonds posted and the piebalds look so good now i'd really love to get one for the lodge but super happy to get this because like i said i really love the waterfowl now i think they look so good the new species look great the mallards look great and putting them around in the trophy lodge they just add so much color and life so super happy to actually find that now moving on to another clip but this time we have a legendary brown bear now this completely took me by surprise just seeing a legendary actually sat out there and i actually had to go back to the lo nearest lodge really quick to go and grab my 300 as i didn't have it on me so i went grabbed the 300 came back thankfully it was all within like a couple of hundred meters it really wasn't far from the nearest lodge and then came back and shot him there in the chest while he was actually sat down down. Now something really interesting to note is that the female that was with this male was actually a level 6. Now level 6 brown bear females are most definitely a thing, this isn't the first one I've seen, but that is the max level for females and it's not particularly common to see level 6 females, they are more on the un uncommon side. So I thought that was actually really interesting to note that there was a max level male with a max level female. And it was a completely legit server, I have to say that, everything else was low level. But I just thought that that was really interesting that the two two big bears for both male and female that I found were both together in a little pair. I thought that was really interesting. 
but this guy is a diamond at 28.30 so actually quite a decent size one when 27.70 is diamond managed to get that shot into the right lung nearly heart not too far off of heart but of course i didn't actually get the heart we did get through to the lung and that brought him down nice and quick now it was cool to actually shoot one whilst it was in the sitting animation but I do hope that eventually this animation gets improved because it looks so odd to me the way that the sort of back end of the bear is sort of it clips into the ground when you look at it when the animal's alive and when you look at it in the harvest screen it's obviously not it's not right how that's positioned and it just looks really really odd and that was something i thought would be interesting to talk about if i could actually get a shot at it whilst it was sat down so that's why i tried to get that shot whilst it was sat there even though maybe it would have been smarter to make him stand up that was just a, an interesting talking point i felt i really hope that that animation gets a bit of a rework one day but now for the final clip of this video and one of the coolest things i have found on Revon Tuli so far that right there is an albino female raccoon dog. I have been looking for rare raccoon dogs for a long time. I really, really love the piebolds and I have loved seeing people get the albinos. They all look stunning and I've really been hoping to find an albino or a piebald. The only rare I've had is an orange, which is very cool looking, but they aren't too dissimilar from like the light browns. But obviously an albino, it sticks out like a sore thumb. And it was interesting because there was a couple of lynx running around. And I have seen lynx running around before in raccoon dog territory and thought, oh, maybe that's an albino. And it, it never is. It ends up being a lynx. So when I spotted this and I saw that it, it wasn't a lynx, it was actually an albino, this really got my heart racing. You will have seen there was another player not too far away, just on the opposite side of this lake. And I did not want anything to go wrong. I did not want to end up losing this incredible rare. These are very, very rare to actually see. I have only seen a few albino raccoon dogs actually ever posted. They look just incredible. Look at that. What a magnificent animal. And as it was walking there, it gave me a nice opportunity at a vital shot and managed to drop her on the spot with the 243 handgun. What an incredible looking animal. Look at those eyes really sort of piercing looking eyes just an incredible looking animal i still can't believe i got lucky enough to find one of these and it's really cool even the the paw pads there you can see are actually pink really awesome but claiming it before anything goes wrong we have an albino female level four raccoon dog what a beautiful beautiful looking animal not completely pure white it has some sort of cream tones in there as well obviously the the pink nose and sort of like they're almost blue color eyes but they're not quite blue almost whitish really insane insane looking animal and the raccoon dog models are so good so good that this is just an awesome animal i'm so incredibly stoked i managed to actually find one of these really wasn't expecting it a raccoon dog grind is something i've been sort of considering for quite a while to get an albino and maybe a piebald if i could get lucky enough but to actually just end up seeing one running back like running by like it was i just completely did not expect that and that's what keeps me coming back to this game and looking for trophies is these moments where you just see something so magnificent and then it just completely is like oh that's insane to actually see and that's the feeling i get whenever i find any of these trophies it gets me really excited but you know seeing one that you've never seen before it yeah just is awesome this was such a cool animal to find but i noticed when looking at it in the harvest screen it's only the back feet that have the pink paw pads the front feet actually have black paw pads and hopefully you can see what i'm talking about there no idea why that is obviously they should all be pink if it's an albino but yeah i just thought that was an interesting detail that i only noticed because of the one paw being lifted up such a cool animal i honestly cannot believe i managed to get lucky enough to find this i've had a really good week of trophy hunting as you will have seen i got some really nice trophies and i was very excited to actually be able to share them with you all i have been yeah very very lucky to actually find all of these and like i said i get so excited with finding these when you just don't expect something good to show up and then you see either a rare or a huge diamond running away it's just such an exciting feeling and you never expect it especially with things like the bears when you spot 
just a bear sitting down and then it pops up nine legendary it's always that that heart skips a beat moment of oh that's a potential diamond that that excitement is always always the thing with this game and yeah seeing that albino running away couldn't believe what i was actually looking at so that was really really awesome but that is going to be it for this video so thank you so so much for watching and for all your support as always really hope you enjoyed the video and all the trophies in this one like i said really excited to actually put this one out there especially with the beautiful albino raccoon dog still so amazed that i actually managed to find something so rare so yeah really Really, really happy about that and really happy that i managed to bag all of these trophies as well but once again thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video thank you